Good afternoon, everybody. Um, on behalf of the people of Southwark, I'd like to welcome you all to this very important event in the, our civic calendar, where we remember the 27 million Soviet, uh, Soviet people who died during the Second World War. And I think it's, uh, as the Chair just said, it's important to remember the fact now we still have people fighting in wars, and I know there are people uh, from different countries in the former Soviet Union actually in Afghanistan now, and we know the Soviet Union were in Afghanistan for 10 years and lost 15,000 people. Much too many people were lost there, much too many people being lost now. So our thoughts go to, to the people being lost at, the, at, at this present time as well. Thank you very much. Mr. Mayor, Your Excellency, fellow ambassadors, dear friends, on this uh, Remembrance Sunday, we gathered again here to, raise, to lay the wreaths to, to the Soviet War Memorial, to remember those who sacrificed the most valuable they've got in their life, their lives, their loves, their hopes and their expectations. The Remembrance Day is a wonderful tradition uh, venerated in Britain, and the Remembrance Day teaches us a lesson that we should never forget people who sacrifice their lives, but we should also not forget the history. We should not be tempted by attempts to rewrite the history. We have to remember all these men and women, soldiers, but also civilians who perished in, in the Second World War in the First World War, in other military conflicts. So I think that we have once again to express our compassion to the families, to express our uh, dignity towards the challenges of today's life, and once again to remember all heroes. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Your Excellencies, comrades who fought and served in the Second World War, and friends. Philip, it's very significant that this year is the first year in this country when we have been gathering where there are now no fellow citizens left from active service in World War I. And if they hadn't fought that battle for freedom uh, nearly a century ago, then the whole destiny of the world would have been different. Rightfully, we're thinking back to World War II, much more vivid in the memories of people here. And those who didn't serve here have parents who served, as I did. And it's therefore very much etched in our family histories. And we are grateful for those personal recollections. And gentlemen, we are honoured always to have you here and honour you for your service. But as Mr. Ambassador said, we have to learn the lessons and take them forward. Ambassadors, like politicians, are of course in place to serve their national interest, to look after their national interest, but we have a greater interest. And as this is a borough where we have seen soldiers go and die in the service of their country in recent years, we remember with poignancy the fact that our biggest duty is to prevent conflict, not to engage in it. And at the end of every day like this, and I've come, as colleagues have this morning, from the Royal Marine wreath laying, where they read out 23 names of Royal Marines who have died this year in active service for this country. When we remember the individuals, we remember that actually the geographical boundaries and the language are of secondary importance in this great continent of Europe, which stretches to the Urals in Russia and right to the western coasts of Spain and Portugal, we have a common duty to lead the world in peace building as well as defending freedom. And I hope today will remind us always, not just to remember those who paid the price, but to remember that we all have an obligation to make sure the lesson is learnt so that we have fewer deaths and fewer conflicts, and a more peaceful world in the future. Thank you very much.
the Russian Convoy Club. They shall not grow old, as we are left to grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.